Hi, this is Lester Martin from Starburst Academy, and this is going to be the final video in the data pipeline series. I'll be focusing on automating this data pipeline that I've been creating. Automation is going to allow us to execute this pipeline on a regular schedule without any human intervention. And as a reminder, the pipeline that we've been building is focused on the Blue Bikes trip data across the land, the structure, and the consume zones. There are going to be choices in the automation tooling that you select, and generally speaking, they need to address workflow as well as scheduling. I'm using DBT Cloud for my presentation here, and I'm absolutely not going to try to showcase all the features of this very advanced tool. I'm going to really focus on making sure we can automate that workflow. In DBT Cloud, what I need to do is take those building blocks from the prior videos and lay them down and put them in the system. So under this folder over here called Models, you might see things like the zip code income lookup table, the, the landing zone of trips, maybe even the structured zones representation of trips and then ultimately the views that we created for the consume zone i'll go ahead and click on one of those views and in this tool in my development mode i will go ahead and kick kick off this to test out to make sure everything that i created will work this will take a short bit here so we'll just pause and wait for it to finish now that it's finished, we see good indications with green and success through various steps of the activities. But let's go ahead and look at Starburst Galaxy and make sure the tables and views that we were expecting are going to be around. And here they are, the land structure and the consume zones, tables and views. I'll just run a quick spot check on each one of these just to validate the data we expect is there. All those finished, there's our lookup table, there's our raw table as an example, the seconds are on the left side because they were a var char, some kind of string, and then now they're on the right side because they are uh, casted appropriately. And even if we look on the far right, we should see those additional augmentation values we put here. And then lastly, the last two are just our views that we created for the consume zone. Switching back to DBT cloud, we can now point out a few other things. As we were looking at Galaxy, we see a long list of uh, tables and views. We might want to understand better where things came from. So what I have highlighted on the left here is one of those views. And if you look at the bottom, we actually have a lineage that lets us know that this particular view was sourced from the table structured trips, trips from the structure zone, which itself was constructed from the trips in the land zone, plus that lookup table that we use to augment. If we pick on the structure zone in the middle, pick on that, uh, we'll see that we actually can see uh, a more comprehensive pipeline. We're seeing everything before and everything after. So in addition to these two tables coming together to create our structure zone, we show that there are two derived views beyond that. So at this point, what we need to do is we have it working in our development environment, and we need to think about deploying this to our production environment. So in this tool, I'll use its mechanism to find our production environment. And here's, in fact, where we would simply create a job to run, our production uh, job here. Uh, but I'm not going to say it's one-time run. Just for fun, I'll show you what I mean. Here's where we can set a variety of things. Again, the, the mission here is not to understand DBT perfectly, but to show that we could use a tool like DBT to also schedule this. I slowly work to the bottom to things like scheduler, turn it on, set all kinds of different opportunities. There's other tool, other ways this tool has to integrate as well. But as I mentioned, we're gonna do a one-time run. So we'll just leave all that blank and we'll save that job. 
if it had a if it had a schedule definition in there, that would be one step better. But right now, we just want to show it run, so I'll kick off the instance to try running it. This will take a moment, so let's wait until that happens. I'll go ahead and click into it. I'm going to watch the progress as it goes along. This run actually just completed, and that finishes our automation effort of not just defining the flow, but verifying the production. Thanks so much for following along with me. Uh, and I trust this helps you understand how Starburst can be a key technical component in your data pipelines. Thanks a bunch.